guys, how are you doing? This is Mango, etc. And I'm here today to bring you another One Piece discussion video. How to make the dreams of the Straw Hats seem like less of an, af less of an afterthought. And today, I'm going to be looking at Usopp, the sniper of the crew. So good king, uh, god Usopp, whichever way you want to phrase his name. But, that's who we're looking at today. And now, just a quick reminder of Usopp's dream. Usopp wants to be a brave Warrior at the sea. Yeah, so now, in ways, arguably, you could say that Usopp has the easiest dream to achieve to achieve within the Straw Hats crew because it doesn't involve him having to go into the ends of the world or um um defeating something at the top. Basically, the majority of the Straw Hats, straw hats dreams have uh end game, end world, reaching the end of the world or the top kind of vibe, but that's not the same for Usopp, because at the end of the day, all Usopp has to do to achieve his dream is suck it up and just be brave. Stop being a coward. It is literally can be boiled down to that simple, but it is tricky. It is kind of tricky, for, and that's simply only because of us, the audience, really. How many times does Usopp have to be brave before us, the audience, consider him brave and him himself consider him brave. How many acts of braveness does it take to then be considered brave? Because a coward can do a brave thing once, but at the end of the day, he's still a coward. So there's that to look at. So, in order for Usopp's dream, to be less of an afterthought. It's actually a simple fix to this. Let Usopp have more brave feats within the series because right now he does have a few, but the unforget the um forget unforgettable the forgetful plus they're not enough. Uh, so samples of these bravery feats that he's had during the series. Is there's one very early within the series where he has to fight Chu. This is an Arlong arc. Uh, other moments is that we know that he was willing to take on uh, Jir not Jiraiya. the opponent that Sanji ends up fighting, the wolf guy in, in his lobby, all for the sake of Robin. Uh, and I know there's a few more in there as well. There's um, Thriller Bark, where he had to fight per on Perona when he realized he was the only one in there and then I guess you can see he overcame his fear and just rose up but that was more of a of, um that was more of a oh no he had to come overcome his fear to defeat sugar and he was more worried about the um of messing up when it came to shooting um shooting sugar the, the second time but like I said and you just saw me struggle to come up with these moments. For someone who has a dream within a series to become a brave warrior of the sea, it should be more prominent for Usopp within the total of the series. When he came back off of the time skip, when they're still in um, the, um, I forget the name of the place, the Sunbody Acapella or something. <laughs> I oh, forget the name of the place. He did seem a bit brave, braver there. So I guess when it comes to the paradise part of the Grand Line, he would have been considered brave there. And then Fishman Island, there was a bit of bravery there. But as soon as they touched New World, it really just felt like he had gone back to his scaly cat ways again. And now, I've said in previous videos that I believe that once Usopp has reached Laftel and has faced essentially the whole world or the biggest and the baddest of the world and that anything that comes after Laftel within the story Usopp should have the bravery not the strength not the smarts but simply the bravery alone to deal with it to stand up to anyone and not feel afraid. That should come after Left Hell. But we should see progression to this. We should have seen progression to this from the second that he was introduced 
to the moment that One Piece ends. Like I said previously, when he came across to the time skip up until Fishman Island, we did see an improvement there, but he went back to his ways in um in the new world. We should have seen the gradual pro progression. And the way to have done this is that simply have more moments where Usopp is overcoming his bravery. And that could have just simply been through fights, him coming up against opponents that he couldn't defeat or he was scared of. And then he overca overcame them. And I'm not saying that this had to be something that was implemented in every single arc, but maybe every two to three arcs, that would have been good for us, the audience, to say, okay, Usopp is still walking toward, working towards his dream. He hasn't forgotten about this dream, or that hasn't forgotten about this dream. Because for right now, from an audience standpoint, at least for me, I would say, I would argue that it's hard to say. <laughs> I would find it hard to say that Usopp has made any strides towards his dream from his introduction. That's it for what I've got to say about this one. That course, guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please go to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.